We end this summer night with a bit of stargazing. Here's Steve Hartman on the road. Lubeck Jastrzemski and Nancy Nemhauser of Mount Dora, Florida, say it was the strangest thing. They noticed their 25-year-old autistic son, Chip, kept opening the same art book, kept turning to the same page, and kept staring into the same starry night. And it seemed to comfort him. And given that there is not a whole lot that helps, we have to capitalize on whatever we can use. Which is why they hired someone to paint a huge Starry Night inspired mural on the wall in front of their house. Chip loved it. The city did not. Last year, this citation showed up at the door. It said graffiti is prohibited. And until the Van Gogh was Van Gogh, the family could be fined as much as $250 a day up to the value of the house. First I thought it was a prank. And then I thought it was a mistake. So they asked the code enforcement officer, which is it? What do we have to do to fix this? And she said the wall has to match the house. You know, she meant for you to repaint the wall to match the house. We followed the instructions. They did follow the instructions. <laughs> Today, the wall definitely matches the house. But despite their cynical compliance, or perhaps because of it, the couple's legal problems only intensified. Next, the city said the mural needed to come down for a second reason. It violated a sign ordinance. A sign? That was their new argument. This is a sign. Yeah, that's a sign. Mount so Dora Mayor Nick Jerome. A violation of a sign ordinance based on the fact that it had squigglies. It had... Squigglies? Squigglies. Define that for our audience. As one of the circle type Oh, things. yeah, Van Gogh did a lot of those. Yeah. <laughs> this is what the family was up against. Oh, my gosh. Which is why, even though they knew their son would be disappointed, Nancy and Lubeck almost painted it over in surrender white. And the turning point for you, I think, was when uh, a young girl oh, yes. offered her allowance to help us <laughs> to fight to keep the mural. Even if we lose the house, so be it. To Lubeck especially, the mural had become a First Amendment issue. And eventually, the city saw it that way too. Last month, the mayor conceded and publicly apologized. To the benefit of all concerned. Today, those once scorned squiggles are now a tourist attraction with people visiting from around the world. Why do you think people are drawn here? It's very seldom when two crazy people are willing to lose the house. <laughs> one, <laughs> make that one. For some amendment. <laughs> Freedom of speech on full display under this sun-splashed starry night. Steve Hartman on the road in Mount Dora, Florida. Good for the mayor. Good for the family.